If you're just joining us, the search for the two fleeing suspects continues downtown. Authorities tell me they have the area sealed off and... One moment. I've been told the helicopter believes they've spotted them. <laughs> all units, all units, we have the suspects in our sights. Repeat, we have the suspects in our sights. Any second now, we should have them. What are we gonna do? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. A lot of this. There's no use running. We have you surrounded. How did this happen? What caused Garfield and Odie to graduate from domestic house pets to the most wanted of wanted criminals? Let's go back to the beginning of our story. It all begins on this lovely sunny morning. A morning when you'd think nothing can go wrong. <laughs> Garfield, are you home? No. Oh. Come back later. I'm thinking century after next. <sighs> Is there anything more annoying in this entire world than normal? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Nermo playing the flute. No, no, no. Don't worry, boy. I'll make it stop. Hey, what's the big idea? Don't you like my music? Oh, is that what it was? No, I love your music, Nermo. You should go on a, a around the world tour with it. Around the world tour? Cool. How do I arrange that? Let me handle it. <laughs> Abu Dhabi, eighth class mail. Please do not handle with care. What? I'm hearing very bad flute music coming from somewhere. Everybody's a critic. Piece of cheese, Pop? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm late for my meeting! <laughs> I don't know why my alarm clock sometimes doesn't go off. I turn it off so it doesn't wake me up. Where's my coffee mug? <laughs> oh, I have so much to do, but at least I can count on one thing, Garfield. You're keeping this house free of mice. Absolutely. <laughs> I made you a banana cream pie for dessert tonight. It's in the refrigerator. See you later! Bye-bye. Mmm, banana cream pie, huh? Mmm, maybe before it gets back, I'll have a slice or two. Or four. Or all. Hey, Squeak, where are you going? I have to go visit my sis and meet 24 new nephews. But don't worry, Irv will be in charge while I'm away. And me? me? In charge? Just keep an eye on everything. Oh, no matter what you do, keep that no good cousin of yours away. Ratso? Sure. He never comes around anyway. See that he doesn't. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna go hitch a ride with John into town. Oh, I've never been in charge of anything in my life. What do I do? Just say no to everything. That means you'll be right about half the time. And being right about half the time puts you way ahead of most people who are in charge of anything. Being in charge is an awesome responsibility. I was once in charge of a geranium, but it died. Maybe I should have watered it. Have either of you been to Portugal? Oh! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Ah. Cousin Ratso, I thought they had you locked up. 
They did. Let's just say I got time off for good behavior. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he went a whole week without causing trouble. Oh, Cousin Nerve, meet my associate, Cecil. <laughs> nice place, boss. Lots of potential. You see, we ain't got no other place to go. All right with you if we stick around here for a few days or longer. No. Perfect. We accept your gracious hospitality. <laughs> Come on, Cecil. Let's find something to eat. And the governor had this to say at today's press conference. Governor, Good. what do you have to say about the recent increase in crime in our state? I'm here to take full responsibility and to say without a shadow of a doubt that it is everyone else's fault but mine. But Governor, please, Governor, please, Garfield, Garfield. You see, that's the way to be in charge. My cousin Ratso is here with one of his friends. So two more small mouths to feed. What's the big deal? They're raiding the refrigerator. <laughs> Ooh, banana cream pie. <laughs> that pie. <laughs> Let me have it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could have phrased that differently. Garfield, this is my cousin Ratso and his friend Cecil. They're only staying here for a few days. I hope. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, you can stay. But remember, you can only eat the food that I don't want to eat. We'll starve! Uh, there's plenty. Hmm, this isn't a bad way to eat pie. So, the rule is we only get to eat the food he doesn't want? Rules can be changed. Let's have a talk with some of the other rodents on the premises. He's my cousin. I didn't say he could stay, but he's staying, and, uh, oh, what should I do? Uh, don't ask me, Irv. You're in charge. Yeah, I'm in charge. I don't think I like being in charge. I don't know about any of you, but I will not live off some cat's leftovers. Uh, we eat pretty well here. Garfield's owner brings in so much food for his cat that there's plenty for us. I especially like mayonnaise. Have I asked you about Portugal? Why settle for scraps when you can have the whole thing? We're rodents. We steal stuff. Let's pillage the fridge and eat everything. <laughs> Who's with me on this? <laughs> all right, you'll see. The day will come when you'll all get behind me on this. Come on, Cecil. <laughs> Garfield Odie, I'm home. Hmm? John. <laughs> Everybody hide. I should have been watching for him. Ah, how nice to come home to a clean, mouse-free kitchen. <laughs> I'm going to make you one of your favorite dinners tonight, Garfield. I'm going to make you spaghetti and meat so... Nothing worse than a mouse in my house. Two mice! <laughs> there is nothing worse than two, three <laughs> mice in my house! Where? Maybe you're mistaking a can of cling peaches for a mouse. Common mistake. I just saw three mice. And if you see three, it means there could be hundreds of them in here. No, not more than 30 or so, <sighs> give or take a rat. Garfield, you're a cat, and that's your responsibility. You have until the morning to get rid of them. And after that, if I see one huh? single mouse, you'll be eating raisins and tofu for the rest of your life! <laughs> Not one single mouse. Please, no, please! That's putting it mildly. Ooh. What I need is a brilliant plan to convince John that all the mice are gone. <laughs> no, I did that back in season one. 
No, I did that back in season two and again in season three. Fourth season, twice. I got an idea for you. Listen. <laughs> That could totally work. In fact, it's such a good idea, I should have thought of it. We'll do it. <laughs> Unbeknownst to Garfield, that is the moment that seals not only his fate, but the fate of the entire city. It's the first step towards the day that the rodents will take over. To find out what happens next, don't miss the next chapter of The Garfield Show. Garfield, you're a cat, and that's your responsibility. If I see one single mouse, you'll be eating raisins and tofu for the rest of your life! Don't worry, Irv will be in charge while I'm away. And me? me, me? In charge? Keep that no-good cousin of yours away. Nice place, boss. Lots of potential. They're raiding the refrigerator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that pie, let me have it. The day the rodents take over starts like any other day. Sunny, peaceful. Things will not be peaceful for long. Now remember, we have to convince John that I've rid the house of mice. I put you all in a cage so we can see. Then after I toss the cage through the window, you go hide in the garage until things cool off. Now, any questions? <laughs> Not to pry, but you look funny for a mouse. Are you sure you're not a rat? My Uncle Alfred's a rat. At least that's what my Aunt Beatrice always says. Have you ever been to Portugal? I'm a mouse. I just look like a rat. <laughs> Bodie says John's coming. Everyone in your places. <laughs> uh, this idea of yours was brilliant. All my ideas are. <laughs> I didn't get much sleep. I had this horrible dream about my house being full of mice. Gee, I wonder how that happened. But I'm sure by now you've gotten rid of all of... <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Garfield! Time for me to go to work. <clears throat> growl! Hiss! Growl! Growl! Oh, help! Save us from the super-efficient mouse-chasing cat! Save us! More growling and more hisses. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Uh, hiss, hiss, hiss. Growl! Growl at the top of my lungs. Don't hurt us, Mr. Cat. We'll go into the cage and leave this lovely house forever. <laughs> hiss! Hiss! Meow! Spare us! We'll never come back! Nice job, guys. Anything for you, Garfield. You did it, Garfield! You caught all the mice! <laughs> what are you going to do with them? Out they go! <laughs> 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 Garfield, I had no idea you could be so ruthless. <laughs> I think I'm going to make you a great breakfast. Waffles. Mm. I believe heroic actions deserve waffles. <laughs> Come on, cousin. Open the door and let us out. <laughs> uh, what's wrong? Why aren't you letting us out of here? Let's just say there's been a little change of plans, cousin. Are you sure he's your cousin? He doesn't seem very nice to me. I think Ratso is a rat, and I don't think he's ever been to Portugal. It's starting to look that way. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Uh, that's just our mouse friends. <laughs> Sneaking back into their homes. Oh. Right this way, guys. Welcome to your new home. No, you don't oh, smell a rat. Those are our friends. Hey, want a candy? Okay, boy. Here, catch. Hmm. Sorry. Hmm. Okay, I've had my dinner. I've had dessert. Must be time for dinner again. Come on. <laughs> My lasagna. <laughs> Not anymore. Where's Zerv? Where are all the mice? They don't live here anymore. Who are these guys? They're your new tenants. And there are a lot more of them. I, you, I'm gonna... I'm running this place now. Get in my way, and I'll make sure that Arbuckle guy sees me and a couple of my boys here. He'll, uh, he'll cut off my Italian food. Yeah. I sure hope you'll enjoy your raisins and tofu. You have something yeah. to say? I didn't think so. Now get out of my kitchen. I am not going to take this lying down. So I'm going to go lie down. There must be a solution for this. There must be. Relax. It's just my stomach rumbling for a lack of food. Garfield, <laughs> I got you a pizza. It's on the dining room table. A pizza? I'm saved. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I'll even eat it if it has anchovies on it. <laughs> and that's pretty hungry. <laughs> it's yours! It's yours! It doesn't have anchovies! Now you know why they call them rats. Right this way, guys. Welcome! You're just in time, folks. Your new leader, Ratso, is speaking down in the basement. My fellow rodents and gnorers, we started with just a single scrap of cheese, and now this entire house is ours to do with as we please. And why content ourselves with a single house? when we could take over the entire neighborhood. <laughs> this is the time to ask the question, are we men or are we mice? Hey, there's a mouse infiltrating a meeting. Hey, who's that? I know that mouse, that squeak. He lives in this place. Oh. I don't mind me. I was just leaving. Stop him! Don't let him get away! Them now, boss. <sighs> Lock him up with the others. Fellow rat, tonight is the night we take over the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I just came down to say good night, guys, and to thank you, Garfield, for doing such a great job ridding this house of rodents. There probably isn't a rodent within a mile of this place. <laughs> nice work! <laughs> hey! 
Somebody get something for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> And don't forget the cranberry sauce! And police are investigating the rash of burglaries last night. Dozens of homes were robbed of furniture, appliances, and even a roast turkey with cranberry sauce. One of those burglarized was Ms. Edna Shoehorn. Ms. Shoehorn, can you tell us exactly what was taken? Oh, I sure can. Well, for one thing, whoever they were, they took my good frying pan. It was blue steel, and it had a white hand on it. Oh, oh, oh. And they also took a trophy that I won when I was 11 years old for spelling anti-disestablishmentarianism. Would you like to hear me spell it? Because I can. No. <laughs> Anything else taken, Miss Shoehorn? Yes! They snuck into the bathtub and stole my husband's favorite rubber ducky. <laughs> <laughs> Police speculate that the criminals couldn't have gotten far and that the stolen items are probably nearby, perhaps stored in <laughs> someone's basement. <gasps> Mr. Arbuckle's basement. Naturally, the governor immediately called a press conference. <laughs> governor, what do you have to say about the horrible crime wave that has hit the city? I want to accept full responsibility and say it is absolutely not my fault and that someone else is to blame. Good day. A follow-up question. Go I'll get it. Odie, do you think this crime wave could have anything to do with the rats in our basement? Uh, I don't know. Uh. I've returned from Abu Dhabi. It was a great flight. I practiced my flute all the way back since there was no one else on the plane. There wouldn't be. Would you like to hear me play now? No. Hmm. I'll get it! I hope he likes horrible flute music. Odie, this situation with the rats is the worst thing that's ever happened to us. It couldn't be worse. Uh, hello. Are you John Arbuckle? Yes. Is this your house? Is the basement of it your basement? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, what can I do for you? You can put your hands on the top of your head and interlace your fingers. You're under arrest. <laughs> under arrest? Ah! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Remember when I said things couldn't be worse? <laughs> well, they're worse. John behind bars, rats in the basement, Squeak and the other mice held prisoners. Don't forget no lasagna for Garfield. No lasagna for Garfield, and things couldn't possibly get worse. Don't say that. When you say that in this show, they always do. That's right, because soon the entire city will be at the mercy of the rodent rebellion. You'll see it happen on the next exciting chapter of The Garfield Show. <laughs> Cat, and that's your responsibility. What? If I see one huh? single mouse, you'll be eating raisins and tofu for the rest of your life. Nice place, boss. Lots of potential. <sighs> my lasagna. <laughs> now get out of my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and why content ourselves with a single house when we could take over the entire neighborhood? And police are investigating the rash of burglaries last night. Dozens of homes were robbed of furniture, appliances. <gasps> Mr. Arbuckle's basement. You're under arrest. Uh, under arrest? <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't do it, I tell you. I don't know how all those things got into my basement. <laughs> is it all you can say at a time like this? <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot that is all you can say. I've got to find a way to get those rats out of this house and John out of jail. Come on, let's have a word with Ratso. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It 
It'll be so much fun spending time with Uncle John, Drusilla. I want to play with the kitty cat. And I'm Anupa. You're Drusilla. Are you sure? No. Well, one of us is. And I'll be glad to see Uncle John, too. <gasps> But I didn't do it, I tell you. I'm innocent! That's what they all say. You can tell them about it down at the station. We may have to visit him in the slammer. If I'm in jail, who's going to take care of my cat and dog? That's a good question. You take him in, Malloy. I'll transfer the cat and dog to the animal shelter. Ooh, right. You're taking him to jail, Drusilla! What did he do? Well, maybe he had a library book that he didn't return. You're not gonna get away with this. I, I just did. And we're gonna get away with a lot more before we're done. You like all the cheese in the city. <laughs> Cat and dog. You're coming with me. <laughs> That's Mr. Cat and Mr. Dog to you. Follow me closely, because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> hey! You two come back here! People on cartoon shows are always yelled at, and no one ever goes back. Oh. Hey, Minerva and Drusilla, or Drusilla and Minerva. Bye. <laughs> from the law, too. We have to help them, Drusilla. I'm a Nupa, I think. before she comes back. Wait. On account of those rats, I haven't eaten since Tuesday. <laughs> Look at this. I've been reduced to eating garbage. <laughs> garbage sandwich on whole wheat? That way! I would like a hot dog with everything. Here you go, pal. One dog with everything. Mmm, hey! <laughs> a hot dog with everything. Much better than a garbage sandwich on whole wheat. <laughs> 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 You're right. It's only a matter of time before she catches us. But we have to get away. We have to save John and get rid of the rats, and we... Hi, Garfield. We want to help. How can we help? Like I didn't have enough problems? Now I have to deal with two little girls who always want to dress us up in frilly little dresses, and... <gasps> Odie, I think it's time for a fashion show. Huh? Have any of you seen a puppy and an overweight orange cat around here? No. And if you find the cat, tell him he owes me a hot dog with everything. I think he needs a comb out. Oh, doesn't he look good in that color? I got some you skin spirals. Maybe we, we need, need to use his tail. Oh, this blush goes good with fur. Perfect. Oh, aren't they adorable? I still 
still think Odie needs to accessorize. Oh, but yes, they're adorable. Quiet. We're adorable. Excuse me, ladies. Have any of you seen a puppy and an overweight orange cat around here? Wait, Wait no, no, officer. We, we haven't. haven't. Have we, girlfriends? <laughs> Thanks. Overweight. Okay. Let's go try and get some rats out of our life and John out of jail. So, no sign of the cat and the dog in the park? Negative, Malloy. Just a pair of twins and two other little girls with excessive facial hair. Yeah, forget about the cat and dog for now. We have reports of rats stealing cheese all over town. Rats? Rats. Dozens of them hitting cheese shops, markets, and Italian <laughs> restaurants. <laughs> And proprietors at the Jiffy Mart report that the rats got away with 61 pounds of gorgonzola. You can't believe anything you hear on the news. Does anyone believe the story about rats stealing all the cheese in town? <laughs> yes! yes! Oh. Did anyone here say anything about cats stealing hot dogs? You leave Vito alone, you, you, you rats! All had my cheese. How do you expect me to make a world of famous pizza with a cheese? I need my mozzarella. I need my parmesan. How do you expect the Vito to make his gourmet meatball sandwiches if you take all my important provolone? Vito is an artista who scuffs with cheese, so he must have a... <laughs> <laughs> you two home safely. We'll come back <laughs> later and check on you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay, the first thing we have to do is get out of these clothes. <laughs> I don't care if you think you look good in them. We need to deal with those rats and we... Excuse huh? me, lovely <laughs> ladies. I want to ask you... Oh, <laughs> I know what you're thinking, yes. I am the cutest cat in the world. Thank you. Uh, I don't think you're so cute. <laughs> you know, I'm looking for my friends Garfield and Odie so I can play my flute for them. They live in that house, but it seems to be filled with rats. Did you see my friends go by? <laughs> Huh. Garfield? Oh, you mean that, that handsome, debonair cat <laughs> that everyone loves? No, that would be me. Garfield is kind of dumpy, and he eats too much. Knock it off, Mermo! <laughs> or I'll, I'll, I'll... Odie, give me a good threat. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that to you, Nermo. Garfield? Well, you've changed. We're dealing with a crisis, Nermal. John's in jail. The mice are missing. Rats have taken over the house and are starting to take over the city. Oh, you know what's a crisis? You and that color. Nermal. I'm thinking maybe something in beige. Nermal! I'll tell you how bad things are. We need your help. <laughs> Odie, let's get out of these outfits and see what's going on in there. <laughs> In light of the massive cheese-stealing crime wave, the governor has just called an emergency press conference. I have appointed a special commission of my most trusted friends and <coughs> advisors to look into this matter, and they have concluded unanimously that it is not my fault. Good day. Governor, whose fault is it if it isn't yours? My opponent in the next election. Governor, you don't have an opponent yet in the next election. Well, when I do, it will be that person's fault. We <laughs> have really taken over the house. There's all the mice still in the cage over there. Er, you should not have let that no good cousin of yours into the house. It's your fault, Squeak. My fault? What are you, the governor? You put me in charge while you were away. I've never been in charge of anything. Half the time, I'm not even in charge of myself. And now a terrible, terrible thing is happening. Oh, you're right. It's all my fault. You're a very bad creature, Ratso Rat. You do bad things. I do not like you. If you had any shame at all, you would be ashamed of yourself. Shame, shame, shame. Oh, this isn't over, Ratso. I know it isn't over. In fact, it's just beginning. <laughs> Oh, yeah! The new recruits are arriving, boss! Good. Show them in. 
New recruits? What kind of new recruits? Yeah, that kind of new recruits. Come in, come in. Get comfy. Squirrels? Raccoons? Bats! What's going on here? I came for the free cheese they promised, but what's the sales pitch? Not a sales pitch. It's our destiny. We got all the cheese in town. Now it's time for everything else to belong to us. You're all here to join in and take this city away from the humans. You're here to join the Rodent Rebellion! <laughs> the Rodent Rebellion. It's worse than it sounds, and it sounds pretty bad. It means total control by Ratso and his furry fiends, while John Arbuckle spends the rest of his life behind bars. Can Garfield and his friends find a way to stop it? Tune in for the final chilling chapter next time on The Garfield Show. I'm sure going to be watching. If I see one single mouse, you'll be eating raisins and tofu for the rest of your life! Nice place, boss. Lots of potential. <laughs> My lasagna. <laughs> and why content ourselves with a single house when we could take over the entire neighborhood? Police are investigating the rash of burglaries last night. <laughs> You're under arrest. I'm innocent! Hey! You two come back here! It's only a matter of time before she catches us. Perfect! Okay, let's go try and get some rats out of our life and John out of jail. Mr. Arbuckle, as your lawyer, I have reviewed every square inch of your case. I've examined all the evidence and the arrest reports. I have researched every one of the applicable laws, and I'm here to tell you... Yes? Yes? You don't stand a chance. <laughs> Don't look so glum. You could be out in, oh, say, 20 years. 20? Maybe 30. Who knows? They found a lot of stolen property in your basement. But I didn't put it there. Honest. Listen, I was thinking, there were rodents in my house. Maybe the rodents robbed all those homes and stashed their loot in my basement. Tell that to the judge, and you'll be lucky to get out this century. <gasps> Garfield. Garfield! We're all gonna band together and take over this town. Then the state, then the country! <laughs> what are we gonna do? We're gonna execute a brilliant plan. Oh, do you have one? No. Oh. <laughs> so you're all part of the Rodent Rebellion! Excuse me? What? Could I say something? I'm a mole. Moles are not rodents. We're members of the mammal family. Oh, well, we'll make you an honorary rodent, okay? <laughs> raccoons are mammals, too. <clears throat> all right, all right. You raccoons are all honorary rodents. Hello! <laughs> and as you can see, I am a ferret. And as you may not know... I know ferrets are mammals. You think I didn't know that? <clears throat> Bats are mammals, too. I know, I know. What the heck is going on here? Educational content. The production team would like to point out that most rodents, like rats, are mammals. Our screenwriter should really go back to school, I'm afraid. Good day. All right, now, everybody's now an honorary rodent. Pardon <laughs> me, but I'm a squirrel, Liz. Aren't you listening? I said everyone's an honorary rodent. But squirrels are real rodents. Everybody, get out there and start stealing. When you're done, we all meet at the Old Cheese Land Amusement Park. Now, go! <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited about being an honorary rodent. I've never been an honorary anything before. Oh, 
Open, open, open. <laughs> Garfield, I knew you'd save us. Well, that makes one of us. I didn't know I'd save you. <sighs> Thank you so much. It's real Garfield, great. listen to this. We've been getting reports from all over the city that not just rats, but other animals, including squirrels, raccoons, and bats, mm -hmm. are on a crime spree. We've got to stop them. This is all my fault. Why is it all your fault, Irv? Because while Squeak was away, he put Irv in charge, and Irv let his cousin Ratso stay here, and Ratso took over the house and brought in all his rat friends, and now they're taking over the city, and why are we standing around here, and shouldn't we be going somewhere to stop them, like Portugal? Mary Margaret is right. Talkative, but right. right. No, you might stay here. You get mistaken for rats. Normal, you stay here and keep an eye on them. Huh, fine with me. Come on, Odie. Can I come and help? I feel so responsible. <laughs> I keep telling you, Irv, it wasn't your fault. Oh, I just want to try and help. Oh, rats to the left of us. Rats to the right of us. <laughs> Let's find some of the other animals and see if we can tuck some sense into their furry little heads. Malloy, I spotted that cat and dog again, but I lost him. Give me your position. I'll send several units to assist in the search. I have a feeling they're behind this whole thing. <laughs> Ooh, what are you doing? Getting cold. Did you pay for it? No. Well, then, isn't that stealing? Hey, yes. Uh, we shouldn't do that, should we? Well, then, back on the shelf it goes. Help! Help! A bat stole my purse! Hey, that woman needs her purse. Razzo told us I could take whatever I wanted. I'm an honorary rodent. You're not a rodent. You're a mammal, remember? And mammals don't steal. Ah, oh, you're right. You know, you're right. When you think about it, it is wrong. I should give this back. What did you steal? It's a fresh, steaming, hot lasagna. You know, sometimes honesty is overrated. <laughs> oh, eh? I made this with my last piece of a cheese. <sighs> Sometimes it hurts to be honest. Latest reports are that the other animals have stopped and are giving back the items they stole, and only the rats continue this crime wave. Ah, uh, I'm so tired of all this. Let me take your mind off it all. I will play my flute. Must you? I must. Check out a little of this. How about that? My flute playing is like the Pied Piper in that story. Oh. Uh, what story is that? The Pied Piper of Hamelin, a famous story from the 12th century about a piper whose playing had a hypnotic effect on the rats and enabled him to lure all the rats out of Hamelin and Portugal. Norma, if your flute playing had that effect on us... Hey, Herb's got an idea. Maybe it would have that effect on Cousin Ratso and his rats. Well, let's try it. <laughs> It'll work. I know it'll work. Well, it has to. I knew there was a reason the writer had me carrying this thing around for the entire story. Okay, we've taken care of the raccoons, the squirrels, the moles, yeah. Yeah. but the rats. We can't talk them out of acting like Marvel. rats. All units, we have the suspects in our sight. Let's repeat, we have the suspects in our sights. Any second now, we should have them. <laughs> There's no use running. We have you surrounded. Surrender now. What are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. A lot of this. There's no use running. We have you surrounded. Surrender now. Hey, Odie, didn't this whole story start like this? I thought it seemed familiar. There's no use oh. running! We have you surrounded! <laughs> All right, you two are coming with me. 
actually good for something. We caught all the rats, and it was Herb's idea how to do it. Yeah, me. I did something right. Cat, <gasps> I get the idea you had something to do with this. <laughs> Any more rats we have to arrest? <laughs> Where are we going? Wherever the orange cat says to go. What is this place we're going to? It's Cheeseland, an abandoned amusement park for mice. Hey, can I borrow your flute? Be my guest. Good. I have a score to settle with Cousin Ratso. We'll give you three minutes to go in by yourself, cat. Oh. I don't like it. All those rats and animals who were part of our rodent rebellion, they should have been here by now with the loot. I never trust rats. What do you mean? We're Ooh. rats! Would you trust us? I see your point. So where are they? They're not <gasps> coming. Your rats are behind bars. The other animals have quit your rodent rebellion. It's officially over. You're <laughs> <laughs> the one that's officially over. Oh, you're about to be. Oh, yeah? Well, listen to this. No! <laughs> and now for my next selection, some chase music! <laughs> Can't get away now, cat! Cecil, show him what we do to someone who messes up my plan. <laughs> sure, boss. Time to leave the amusement park, guys. The ride is over. Between seeing what those rats do and all your help, I think it'll be easy to convince a judge to release your friend John. <laughs> I did good, huh, Squeak? You think maybe next time you go on a trip, I could be in charge again? Who else? Hey, I couldn't get it to make a sound. Oh, it's an art. I'll demonstrate it a lot when I'm staying with you. Staying with us? Sure. Since I was such a hero, you can't throw me out or mail me to Abu Dhabi again. I'll just hang around the house and practice on my flute. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have the rats around. <laughs> Garfield? Okay, oh, what if I don't play the flute? I have an ocarina. I can play the xylophone. Oh, I I'm gonna go <laughs> her. I'm really good at the harmonium. As long as you play my favorite tune. Far, far away. Ah! 